Skell versus Frank. Skell is ranked third on the Switzerland PR. Uh, he's a Mario main, also has a couple of the characters. As for Frank, he's from Marseille, so the town uh, in which we're commentating right now. And he's a Pikachu main and also has a Mario, uh, Mars secondary, which I guess he does, he w wants to try in this matchup. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about this morph. I'm really curious about it, but for now, well, Skell is taking really good care of him, I would say. It is uh, one of these matchups where uh, top players uh, tend to consider it, consider it in Mars's favor purely because of the neutral games. Uh, if, you're, if you're very consistent with your spacing, you can just really uh, basically prevent Mario from hitting you, just like that. Just stop. I, I have range, and it's been two chippers in a row, and you can clearly see how Mario is chuckling just to get to the ground. But other than that, Ooh. oh wow, the nice chipper forward hit, very nice awareness from Frank, uh, not going for a jab or anything. He knew at this point it's a chipper on the forward hit, and it's just enough to kill him. So yeah, I, I was saying, if you're not con consistent with spacing, Mario can really lay down the pain with huge combos. Uh, Mario uh, Mars being super weak beneath him, uh, only have uh, air dodge and down air, basically. But uh, as it looks, it, it looks like fire. Oh, wow. OK, Skull basically just reading, calling out uh, the ground adoption from, uh, from Frank and bringing it back to a an even game. Yeah, as you just said, like when Frank get the con get the control, it's definitely in his favor. But when Skell can get a bit of momentum, he's really nice at keeping it like that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, misses a combo totally. Goes for a, a full up for a pair, which even prevented him for, uh, from getting a frame trap. Okay, more combos. Doesn't manage to punish the landing. Mario just a bit too slow on the ground. Like. Skell missed a lot of his tech that allowed Frank to just follow up his combo and just run for it. Nice. One. Again, you can see right now, after after the, the first talk, where Frank was, uh, FNK was uh, able to prevent Skell from landing for like 15 seconds, just using uh, up airs and, uh, and uh, forward airs. You can see now that he knows Skell is respecting Master's range and he can already go uh, for the mix-up, like, okay, you probably go for a B reverse now, so that's what I'm aiming for. Double jump is gone, but it's retreating safely to the edge. Too bad, he read the roll, but unfortunately, he just missed on it, but still here, fall! Whoa, oh. that GI! <laughs> that grab, but yeah, 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 everyone got survived to that. Probably hit him with a, an in, uh, inward hitbox of forward, because Frank basically went left instead of right altogether. Okay, will, if, will Frank make the Ooh. wall for the Mario? So I'm not sure that grab was uh, what uh, Skell wanted, because an Absnatch definitely would have taken it. Frank over overstepping his boundaries, and again, trying to shield grab a carefully spaced Mario back here will definitely get you killed at this percentage. I love how Skell uses his fireball just to make an opening or just cross uh, crossing up the, the morph. He's not like throwing them again and again and again or anything. Not just retry to zone or come. Just really use them to make an approach and beautiful up the out of shield from Frank, catching that stock in between those jabs. Okay. And now Kale turn. Double jump is gone. Okay, read the air dodge basically, but just misspace it. Uh, forward there wouldn't have killed anyway. But still, Skell with the momentum. Okay, building the person right now. A bit too far for that forward smash, but nice neutral B. And finally letting the shield, so let Skell just roll behind, making those jabs, taking the ground, but no up smash. You can see Skell is going for a lot of rolls, yeah, and Frank is starting to see them coming. He, he, he noticed uh, during earlier in this talk that, okay, he's rolling behind me a lot, and he's trying to read my rolls. Oh, oh wow! And the cheaper up smash! Skell had no more option apart from uh, using his air dodge, and Frank called him out. You're not going to air dodge, you're just going to land and then run away. And you're going to die for this, and like, this stock was going to, what, 80, 89%? Crucial yeah. read from Frank. Definitely, I wasn't ready to see that stock go away. I wasn't ready. I wasn't. I think scale neither. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. He lost uh, two stocks at a uh, very early percent with a forward shield at the edge yeah. at the first stock, and this up smash, obviously. So, second game going on town and city. Let's go. So Skell will try to catch some uh, earlier stock on the stage, so we'll see. Keep the control right now, pushing him, making some simple punish, but still hitting the shield 
on the landing of the morph once again a bit too far unfortunately oh and the roll well I'm, I'm not sure if scale is actually trying to condition front again or if it's just a bad habit that he isn't getting rid of because it got him punished meanly in the first game and he's still doing it in the second game so I feel like sometimes Skell is a bit inconsistent on his punish, like those up air. Yeah. Like, he, he could push him like uh, off stage, for instance, but it's always like taking him back on stage. Yeah, the absolutely. fair on the previous, uh, oh, on the previous game, there with the up air and all that stuff. Yeah, a bit. Uh, I, I'd say a bit um, hesitant or sloppy on his uh, moves choice, like using full up air to pressure on the platforms too. So basically, he has the read. But he uses the wrong move at this time. But there's something better to do, usually. But a good stock taken from Skell right here with a, a decent enough lead. He, if he doesn't die at 80% again, he should be able to grab uh, Frank at least once and get a combo going. Frank trying to space. And once again, the Fireball fighting that landing and fighting the opportunity for Skell. Keeping the momentum right nice now. Nice one. Wow. That. That's too bad with the... With the auto Landing back here, I think he would have been able to go for a dash grab, but you respect it, Frank, which I guess is okay when you have this person lead. Uh, if you can play safe and you're sure not to die. Oh, wow, goes for the edge guard. Double neutral air, nothing much coming out of it, trying to make Frank burn his double jump. That nice. could be it. Just with one roll, taking all the stage back, and now Skell in a terrible situation. Terrible as he lost his stock, catching. Getting killed by that up pair of Frank, that was nice. And we can definitely see exactly what those players are talking about when they say that Mario can have trouble landing and stuff like that. Because when he's off the mass, it's basically a 50-50 situation every time he tries to cross him up. Because uh, Master's the sword will just cut through Ma uh, Mario's options, just like that. But even when he misses, he forces him to edge just so far away from him that Mass cannot get punished. Oh, the call! Yeah. That was nice. It, it just make a tiny delay timing, just a tiny one, just to know because he knows Frank always acts right after uh, something hit his shield. So he just tiny delayed that up smash just to cause him off guard. Beautiful. Nice, uh, Frank with a, with a attempt attempt at a big read. Nice side B. Double jump is gone. Could be something. Oh, too bad. Yep, it was a, a decent choice. Definitely would have been would have hit a, a taller character than Mario behind him, but not in this situation. And this time, yep, you, you cannot go with, for almost against uh, Mario because he gets so much of a single opening. There it is, down throw. Uh, I must say, Skull's conversions are, are a bit lacking in my opinion. I, I do agree, but I, uh, big props to him. I just want to say, like, right now, I feel like he definitely adapts. Like, he, he switches play style. He's really groundy, waiting for Frank to jump the first one, catching it at the landing with a dash shield or something. But it's like really more defensive and waiting. But wow. even though, even though, if you misplay something and you are the deeper F tilt range, you're dead. Uh, scary situation, because now. It's Ma uh, Frank's uh, turn to put on the pressure, and he's definitely out of uh, Mario's best combo range. So if he plays a neutral game, doesn't get caught on stage or anything, I expect him to just see him bring it back to an even game. It's been at least two or three times now that uh, in a juggle situation, Frank gets one hit in and uh, puts uh, scale back up and then get hit but neutral but right now he's an <gasps> adaptation Miss that tech oh my that tech on that platform and you can see Frank himself uh, a, a bit disappointed and uh, yeah yes yeah, so Frank with the afro <laughs> he was the one looking sad for scale when he hit that tipper forward uh, the platform uh, just jumping in for the assist allowing him to get that tipper forward uh. yeah uh, Oh, uh, too bad, too bad, too bad. So a bit of an upset, actually. Like it uh, is, it is actually, yeah. it is Fr an upset. Fr Frank is uh, is decently r ranked in his uh, own uh, regional PR. I think he must be something like fifth. Um, so, but only in Marseille. So even if it's a, a decent region, uh, it's still not something like a, a top three in a whole country like Skellerex is.